Frisbee. Hello and welcome back YouTube. What is up guys? Hazy here and welcome to a brand new video on a beautiful day in Nowheresville, Kansas. So quick little side note, it's now March 21st and I am just loving this weather. So we're getting out of winter. I think we're almost in spring. I'm not sure when the actual season changes. We might already be in spring, but the grass is just starting to turn green again. And I just, that's, it's, I love it. Like there's no, me personally, I hate, hate winter in Kansas because it's just dead looking. Everything is just so dead. The grass is just one tan color. There's no color in anything, you know? And it really bugs me. And honestly, it kind of really bugs me and gets to me sometimes because everything feels moody, gloomy. Like my personal favorite type of weather is springtime and all the storms. Like I love storms. Um, not when the clouds are just, the sky's gray, um, but when the clouds just have awesome shapes to them, you know, they have the really smooth swirls and it's just colorful and stormy. Like personally, that is my favorite type of weather. I don't know about you guys, Actually, go comment down below what your favorite season and type of weather is. I, I'm, I'm kind of interested. I'd like to know. See if I'm in the majority or minority. But yeah, guys, so it's a beautiful day. I'm actually going to go meet up with the guys in Andover for lunch. Um, but the main reason I'm going there is due to it kind of turning into springtime here. A lot more rain is coming down. And I live on a dirt road to where it gets really muddy, really potholy, really just it holds and retains all the water that gets on it. So it sucks. Clifford is actually over there really muddy. But I really need to go get a car wash and the only automatic car wash I can fit in is in Andover. I gotta go there to do that. Plus I gotta meet up with the guys for lunch. So you know, I mean it's kind of when whoever Clifford does need a full hand wash here soon. I've been going through automatics for the last month. You know, it's winter, it's cold outside. I don't want to go manually wash it, but that's what I did last summer. And right now he's starting to kind of get a film on him, you know, from all the just constant mud on off groundwater, hard water. It's just, it's not good. So I need to be hand washing him here soon. Just haven't had a super warm day. Cause even today it's nice out, but it's still probably only like 60 degrees. So mix out with some cold water, it ain't fun. Um, but enough talking for me right now. We gotta get on the road to Andover. I'm gonna be late like always. So I'll see you guys there. All right guys, so I'm now at the office. I just got back from meeting with the guys and uh, got Clifford all washed up. Um, but there's, since it was an automatic wash, obviously I didn't get a chance to like focus. Hey, you know, there's a big mud clump here and stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the manual one just here in Augusta and probably do that a little bit later um, I just don't really want to get muddy um, at the start of my day I do have quite a bit of work to get done today So I'm just gonna put on some Netflix and get grinding, but I'll talk to you guys after that and then we can go make a memory Let's go Okay, so Not much of a setting change Usually camera flips are, are good to change settings. However, um, a big time change happened. It's currently dark out, um, 9.36 at night. I think I last left you guys at 12 or like 1-ish. So it's been eight hours here at the office. Um, I had to do some digitizing and some other stuff. As well as I'm working on a logo design for a popular YouTuber. Um, I'm not gonna say too much, but it's kind of one of those, like the icon, the face logo, you know, like the like how Nike has the swish, or like me, you know, I have like the HMH logo, it's like the main, it's like the face, it's the icon, it's, yeah. <laughs> um, but those are very special and take a lot of time to find the perfect one. So don't worry, I didn't do that for eight hours, I have other work to do, um, but it, it is a process. So without further ado, we need to run home. I've got to actually clean up my studio tonight and just uh, kind of genuinely get organized. But before I go, I want to share a clip with you guys that happened this morning. So um, I ordered this thing in called the High Smile. It's supposed to help your teeth whitening. Um, I, I never really had uh, bad discolored teeth and I used to have really, really white teeth until I, like, I knocked my braces out, or until I knocked my teeth out. And then I felt like after that, it just kind of went downhill a little bit. Now, not bad. My teeth are, I'd say, average. But I kind of wanted to get back to the 
So I decided to buy this high smile and try it out. Um, you know what? Let's just cut to the footage. Alright guys, so, so today I'm bringing you a review of this High Smile Teeth Whitening Kit. Um, I'm not paid by them, it's not a paid product placement or anything. I wish it was a paid product placement. Uh, then I'd be making some money for once. Um, so I've noticed that previous to me knocking out my teeth at my graduation party, my teeth were really white and I was always kind of proud about that. I kept them real clean and I mean, they're still clean, but they've, but since I've knocked them out, they've slowly regressed. Now, that's not due to me getting braces back on or anything like that. I didn't change brushing habits. Um, however, what I did change was I actually reduced the amount of pop I drank. Yeah, I know that kind of doesn't make sense. However, when I did reduce my pop drinking, I started drinking more tea and more coffee, and those stay in your teeth, and that's kind of why my teeth have started to change though they're not like a brown or anything nasty um they're just like average right now and i'd really like to get back to my old really white teeth so i found this thing on instagram called high smile and been looking at it for a while now and after looking into it i really decided that this would be the product to kind of try so without further ado let's get into this thing you know i could have probably taken the packaging off first that that would have worked just as well all right so let's open this thing up so I see three syringes. Um, I promise you this isn't drugs. I think. Let's see, they have a here's how it works little thing. So these are probably, I assume the instructions. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to read those here in a bit or we can just, you know, go without instructions. So in this box you have three drug-like looking syringes, I think. Um, and then you have pretty much the thing that does it all. It's this little mouthpiece. Um, it has a little mouth guard in there as well. But uh, let's pull the little tab out real fast. Okay, that didn't work. Let's let's probably open the battery cover to pull it out. That's probably the smartest thing to do. Okay. Don't be with me. I think it's locked into place. So let's put the little mouth guard on and you know this this is just going to crap. I can't keep anything on the table. Alright, so this is pretty much the thing that does it all. It's this little uh, blue UV light, if you can see that. Um, you put this up to your teeth with a little drugs on it, with the little drugs on it, and uh, it's supposed to whiten them. So, I'm going to read the instructions and let's give this thing a try. Probably shouldn't look into that. Alright, so we're in the bathroom now and hopefully you like this angle. It's kind of weird. But anyways, we're... So, we're going to go ahead and try out this high smile. What the instructions say to do is take a quarter amount of this little syringe here. This is the drug stuff. And you put it kind of in the mouth guard. Let's do an angle around here on the front. And I guess you just put it in your mouth, turn it on, and wait for, what does it say? 10 minutes. Um, I should probably get my phone out for a timer. So I'm going to take this little, so I'm going to figure out how to open this syringe real fast. Oh, just like that. I guess it's just a little twist thing. Um, and let's squeeze this on here. And well, let's squeeze this on here real fast. So it says trying to get it, I guess, as close as possible to the front. Ugh. It's kind of hard to watch measurements in this. I think I went a little bit too much on the top. Mm. This first try for everything, right? And let's get the bottom as well. Let's try to spread that around because it's kind of gooped up. Alright, so I don't know what to do with this little syringe. Let's just put it right here. Alright, so I guess the next thing to do is just turn it on, put it in my mouth, and I guess let's do... So I guess let's let it do its magic. Oh, that's bright.
Mm. Alright guys, so I just got done and I think I can see a difference. Um, let me turn the overhead light on. Hopefully this doesn't mess with the camera too much. Ooh. Yeah, we probably should have started with this lighting. It's a lot brighter. Um, but I feel like I can see a difference. I don't know if this is a um, kind of continued use. I'm assuming it is like a, a, you know, once a day or once every other day type thing. It does say for best results, kind of use once a day. However, I don't know how much that drug stuff is, so I don't know about that yet. <laughs> but I'm going to take the little test again. Now, it does say day six, so in like the next vlog or two, I might uh, try to take this last test on like day six. Um, but this, from what I can kind of tell, it looks like I've gone from a five and a half to a five, so there is some difference I can already kind of notice, so let's see. Actually, um... After taking that, I'd say I'm at a four. Uh, that's quite an improvement for one time. I'm kind of happy with this stuff. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I guess I'll see you at the table. With all that being said though, let's go ahead and continue on with the rest of the video. All right, so I'm now at my house and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, but I wanna finish up with a few video ideas to run by you. Um, the first one, is um, like I mentioned earlier in this video it's getting sp to be springtime now and that means burning off of fields and pasture lands out by my house I absolutely love to watch that I don't know I don't know why um, but fire is something as weird enough as it is dangerous it is beautiful and let me know if you guys would want me to strap a GoPro to my truck and we'd maybe drive around and kind of watch the wildfires. Heck, maybe even fly a drone. Um, don't know quite how that would work, but I'd work out the comment down below if you would enjoy a fire watching video like that. As well as, um, like I mentioned, I'm going inside right now to clean up my studio and room. I have some pretty good tips on how to make your room look clean the fastest and how to clean your room the fastest, if that makes any sense. There are ways to clean your room without really cleaning your room that work for me, at least. And I'd really like to share those tips with you guys, so also comment down below if you'd like to see a video like that. Well, um... With all that being said, yes, today was a grindy work day, and sometimes it feels like you don't make a memory. And, you know, it's not a huge day, but did we still not make a memory? No. There's always little things throughout life that make life memorable and let you have a positive outlook on the day. So... Make sure to focus on those and capitalize even on little things. Not every day can you go rock sledding or fishing or watching fires. But some days you just sit there and do your work but have fun at it and love what you're doing. That's the key to making a memory. With all that being said, remember to like the video and share. You guys are the tool for make a memory to grow. Um, I can see some huge potential in this one day and just I want to inspire everyone to capitalize, even on days like this that might seem boring office work. I still had fun doing it, and I love what I do, so it wasn't a waste of time. And I want to, and I want to share that message with as many people as I can. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell icon to get notified every time I post and make a memory. My name is Hazy, and I will see you in the next video.